Hello, welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen, Vasila Built for Speed. Today I'm working on my 2017 Ram 2500 6.7 diesel. We're gonna be doing a engine flush and engine oil change. Engine flush is what I do before every oil change, whether I'm using automatic transmission fluid or using something like this from our sponsor. It's uh, engine and transmission flush. This is a very high detergent value um, flush. Uh, fluid. Um, I'm sure it's on the same basis as a automatic transmission fluid. Probably even better. I usually use the automatic transmission fluid if I don't have something like this, but this time I decided to take my time and actually get the right stuff to do this, which um, this is designed, I mean, to flush your engine. So we're going to put this in, and I believe you have to idle, yes. So you put this in your engine before you change your oil into the old oil and then let your truck idle for about 10 to 15 minutes, which I'm going to probably do 15 because I want to maximize the, uh, you know, them, you know, the flushing uh, in the engine. And then we're going to drain the oil and then we're going to change the filter. So this is if somebody one of you guys want the part number or whatever this looks like, it's just called AMS oil engine transmission flush. Uh, we're going to be using 5W40, the best of the best. Um, the liquid gold 5w40 uh, the signature series diesel oil from m's oil and then this is the filter for our trucks that goes on the where the on top of the wheel it's a pain to get to uh, like i said i want to have a discussion with the designer of the oh, <laughs> whoever designed that filter in that spot uh, but yeah oil the engine flush and the oil filter that's our job today let's get started I'll tell you straight, straight off the bat, it doesn't smell like trans automatic transmission fluid. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> let's put it in the engine, let's flush it. Um, as you can see, it's very light and it's very liquidy. It's like almost, let me see, let me put it on my finger, see how it feels like. It has some lubricity to it. It almost smells like diesel. To me so maybe it's diesel based gasoline diesel engines and automatic transmission fluid not recommended for differentials safe to use at every oil change loosen sticky valves clean clutches quiet lifter noise safety clean seals safely clean seals reduce oil consumption so yeah let's let's uh we put it in the engine I'll give it maybe a minute to go down, close everything up, and then I'll start my truck and idle it for 15 minutes. Wait, well, I made a little mess, but one thing it says to once you do the flush, uh, after 10 to 15 minutes of idling, you want to immediately drain the oil. So you don't want to let the engine sit for too long. Uh, you want to make sure all the flush and all the garbage comes out. So once it's fresh, right after you shut off the truck, drain it. Let it drain all the way, take the filter out, swap it out, and put new oil and filter in. Well, and for any of you guys that are interested to know where the drain plug is, uh, it's right there. You can see the oil is draining for it, from it. It's just a uh, 3 8 square, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's the transmission pan, and that's the oil pan right there. And it looks like this, at least mine does. It's just a square in there. So I just use the 3 8 just this right here that's all you'd use 3a from 3 3a ratchet with an extension that right there that right there is why I want to talk to the designer of this placement of the oil filter I really want to have a talk with him what did he smoke or drink or what did he do well, who pissed him off I really like to know that literally this is the only access and look my hand it's just as big as that hole. How am I supposed to get it out of there? I mean, I already changed it, but like, dude, dude, that's just, oh uh, man. I changed it before you can see it. I'm changing my oil into, I change it every 5,000 miles uh, because I kind of want my truck to last. And uh, that's why my filter looks pretty clean in there. But uh, yeah, now I have to change it again. Struggle again. And I use a bunch of paper towels to kind of keep the frame and all that clean. You know, guys, and another thing why I love Amazon filters look at this texture so if you have mechanic gloves or anything really like it's it's not gonna be as slippery as like look the K&N one that I did that I had right 
look at it like i couldn't untwist it i had to use those oil filter pliers to take it off this one you won't have to you grab it you have grip to grab onto and also make sure you lubricate the seal on the oil filter so i got the old oil filter out it was a pain i kind of made a little mess as you can see um i'll show you after i put the filter in up we'll get a light and i'll show you but i made a little mess this time i don't know how i managed to kind of minimize this i think i had a bunch of paper towels in there but uh yeah expect to make a mess so have some uh, bottle of brake clean or something to spray all this down all the oil residue as you can see okay so i got the filter in the new m filter in i got the underneath i got that um, uh plug in on the on the oil pan i got it snug i don't really i will let you guys know in the description in my video what the torque spec for the drain plug is i just from years of experience i just kind of know what tightness it should be so i got that tight new filter on now we're gonna fill it uh, it calls for 12 quarts so that's exactly what we got three gallons exactly 12 quarts uh i think i have some extra just in case sometimes <laughs> these trucks especially when they're hot and then you drain them they train they tend to drain a little more but if it calls for 12 quarts i usually put in 12 quarts because usually that's the bare minimum usually i end up putting more because it's it doesn't end up being at the full line so if it calls for 12 quarts i put in the 12 quarts and then uh, idle it um for a few minutes warm it up let it get to the turbo everywhere and then let it sit for like five minutes and then i check the oil level uh but yeah that's what we're gonna do next i'm gonna put all three of these jugs into the engine and i started up and idle it for a couple minutes all right so now we got 12 quarts in there everything is tight uh when i drain the oil i forgot to say i usually loosen the cap and then pop this uh, engine oil dipstick just to kind of let it easier you know drain so it doesn't trap air and then kind of slows the drainage of the oil down uh, but yeah now we got it filled i'm gonna start it idle it for maybe three to five minutes let it warm up good that way when i shut it off it's warm and it can settle a lot faster then i let it sit for about five minutes and then uh, i check the oil level and i usually like it to be as close to the full line as possible because after 5,000 miles any turbo car starts slowly burning oil it doesn't matter i don't care what anybody says any turbo car diesel or gas car after 5,000 miles you need to start paying attention to your engine oil every car i've seen i mean i worked on thousands of cars after 5,000 miles you have to start paying attention slowly you'll see it if you change the oil and it was at a full line but it, after you hit like five five and a half thousand miles you pull the dipstick i guarantee you it's going to be in between full and the low line it's still going to be in a safe zone if your engine is good uh, the closer you, if you go seven and a half, uh, a lot of oils, I gotta tell you, not M's oil, but a lot of oils uh, on the market now fails after 7,500 miles. So be careful with that. Uh, if you, especially if you're one of those people that like to go 10,000 miles plus on the engine oil, be really careful. You could be doing your, your engine. So I usually play it safe. I do it every 5,000 miles, whether I need to do it every five. No, maybe I could have, I could get away with, uh, doing seven maybe six seven but i play it safe i do every five thousand miles on my all my gas turbo cars and my diesels and my regular cars too i do every five thousand miles that's the safest I, i'm planning on keeping this truck so i want to maintain it the best i can with transmission fluids engine oil all that stuff you guys paying attention to my videos i really try to kind of do any upgrades i can to prolong the life of this vehicle or any vehicle i own same thing with maintenance I, fluids i use the best of the best the parts everything i throw at my cars is literally top notch so anyways let's get back to the truck um i'm gonna start it up idle it let it sit for a bit and then we'll double check the oil level all right so i idle it for about five minutes now i let it sit for five minutes and look at that let me let me see look at that perfect level up full so definitely 12 quarts it calls for 12 quarts and after you put it in exactly what you'll get is a full line at the full line so perfect level 12 quarts i always tell everybody if it calls for 12 quarts put it in because sometimes you don't idle it long enough it doesn't circulate through the whole engine uh, it, or it gets trapped in places and then you pull it you, you put in a quart less and then you end up with low oil and then after a week of driving you notice you're low on oil i wonder why so if i just tell everybody if it calls for 12 quarts if a manufacturer calls for 12 quarts after you drain it especially when the oil was warm for at least five minutes 
definitely put the, that amount in and then check your oil i guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the time if you put in the recommended amount you'll be at the full line you'll be perfect level so that's going to be it for today's video if you guys have any questions or comments comment in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them but as usual thank you guys for watching see you next time peace